everybody know what today is? Well, today is Moonshine Wednesday. All right, so what do we got going on today? Well, today, I don't know if you really consider this moonshine, but we're going to make it anyway because, hey, the holidays are coming up. You know, Thanksgiving and Christmas is all coming up. And I just love eggnog. And we are going to be making it with our own bourbon. So that it is kind of like moonshine, okay? Uh, you could make it with shine, I would imagine. But I've always loved the, the taste of bourbon in, in eggnog. So that's what we're going to make today. Oh, but first things first. Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Alright, so let me get set up. And one thing this is, this is a cooked recipe of uh, eggnog. So let me get set up and we're going to start this thing out. Okay. Well, I guess this is about the funnest part. Yeah, right. Uh, we need 12 egg yolks, okay? So, I'm going to try my best to separate these eggs. I'm going to do my best. Well, there was one. Yeah, this is the fun part, right? Ah! Now somebody told me Yeah Now that's what I'm going to do Break the eggs in here Um, I think eggnog, if I read right, it's from the medieval times. That's how long it's been around. But And there's a lot of history, but I didn't read too much about it. I particularly like it for the, um, the holidays. And uh, I just think it's delicious. But I was thinking... With it being cooked, that will help the uh, the shelf life, I would believe. Do, do, do. I'll tell you the price of eggs anymore. Ooh, they're getting terrible. Alright, so now I'll just kind of dip them out. It's just the easiest way of doing it. Might be messy on the hands. Come on. Might be messy on the hands, but it is the easiest way that I've ever done it. And a whole lot faster. Almost broke the last one. All right, let me get cleaned up. What a mess. And then we're going to move on to the next spot. I'll say these egg yolks, they make good omelets. Now, some people froth them up and whip them and add them in, but I'm not particularly going to do that. Okay, let me get cleaned up, then I'll be right back. Okay, so the first... Uh, 
thing we gotta do is we gotta whip up these egg yolks. I guess you could use a uh, blender, hand mixer. I'm gonna just use a wick. So we just gotta make sure they're all, all right? So then what we're going to do now, we got them all broke up. We gotta start adding in our sugar. Now this is uh, one and a half cups of sugar. We just add that in a little bit and get it all mixed up. One and a half cups of sugar. It's not really that hard to make eggnog, but boy is it delicious. Okay, so there's the sugar. Get all that whiskey in. The next thing we're going to do is we'll add in the nutmeg and the salt. That is uh, half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And you just want to kind of whisk this in. You see how it went from a bright yellow. So we'll get that that's mixed in pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to just set that aside for a minute. All right. Get that out of the way. Okay, the next thing we got to do is we got to heat our, our milk and our heavy cream. And like I always do, I'll put the uh, ingredients in the in the description box okay so uh, the heavy cream we got two cups of heavy cream we'll put that in the pot and Okay, so we got that in the pot, and then we're going to add ugh, two and a half cups of milk. Alright, two and a half cups of milk. And what we want to do is we want to heat this up to 160 degrees. We don't want it boiling, we don't want it simmering. So what we want to do is kind of heat her up slow. Let me put it on and start. Sorry about the noise. And you, you just want to stir all the time. Okay? Stir and, and keep checking the temperature. We're looking at a, for 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't want to scold that milk. Make sure you have a thermometer hand by. I mean, I know I ain't nowhere near close. I got walls to go. All right, so let me uh, get this to warm it up. Okay, so I heated that up to 160 degrees. 58. Oop. I need one, two more degrees. But what we're trying to do, I think, is just kill anything that could be in the milk. Okay. Perfect. Kill the heat. Alright. 
that's 160 degrees. You'll start seeing a little steam off of it, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now what we need to do is, and they call it tempering the eggs. Uh, the only thing I got to do is, I did not put my vanilla in the egg, and I need to do that. No, nah, now I'm going to wait. Alright, so what we want to do is just add a little bit of the milk, just drizzle it in the eggs. What we're trying to do is just warm it up the egg very slowly. Because we don't want to cook the eggs. So we're going to get them warmed up. Just keep whisking. Get it mixed in. And it's, it's also helping melt that sugar that's in there. So it's doing a lot of different things. Don't just don't add your alcohol in yet. warm yet. Okay, so I think our eggs mixture is warm. Okay, so now we just want to put everything back into the pot. And we'll just do it a little bit slow. I haven't turned the heat back on yet. I didn't have any fresh nutmeg. I wish I would have. Okay. So what we want to do now is turn the heat back on. And what we want to do is bring this mixture back up to 160 degrees. We're at... It won't take too long because we're at 120... 130 some degrees, so it won't take too long. Make sure you keep stirring that. Don't want to cook no eggs. Hundred thirty five. Yeah, egg dog is one of the things you either love or hate, I think. All right, so let me get this warmed up, then we'll be back. Okay, so if you're a little bit impatient like I am sometimes, trying to cool this down, I got a nice baggie of ice, and I just put it in there, make sure it's sealed up good, 
in a Ziploc bag. Just stir it every once in a while, it'll cool it down a lot faster for you. Okay, so it's down to 80 degrees, so it's safe to put everything in. So, one thing that I am going to put in now is uh, one teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon of vanilla extract. Alright, so that's in there. And then uh, for the alcohol, we're going to put in uh, three cups of bourbon. All right, and we're almost done. We're getting close. So I need three cups of bourbon. One, two, and perfect amount, three. Three cups of bourbon. All right, I do love this. It sure is so much better than what you get in the store. Give that all a good stir. All right. So now the next thing we're ready to do is we're ready to put this in a bottle. Let's put that in there. Okay. So the only thing I will do is I have this strainer in case, and, and really what it is in case you've got any big hunks of. Um, nutmeg, like if you use fresh nutmeg, or if you kind of messed up and you uh, cooked a little bit of egg, we want to get that out. So just run through a strainer, and we're going to fill our jars up. <coughs> then, after that is the most, the most favorite time. Anybody got an idea what that is? Taste that. There's one jar. I don't really see no hunks yet though. I have done where you got a little... Just didn't whisk it enough or... <clears throat> All right, and little piece. I think it's light enough that I'll just pour it in there. Okay. All we gotta do is put a lid on these. You get them apart. Now I'll put these in the fridge. Okay. Now, here's the best part, right? I mean, it looks like good eggnog. Oh, 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 oh. That just beats the pants off anything that you can buy. Woo! And like I always say, once it gets ice cold in the freezer, it is going to be really crazy good, but it's pretty damn good right now. Okay. Well, that's our egg dog. Uh, like I said, holidays are coming up. Uh, make yourself some egg dog, put it in the fridge, celebrate the holidays. Uh, I just wanted to get out enough time so if somebody wanted to gather their ingredients up so they can make some for Thanksgiving. It's great for Thanksgiving. Uh, or And Christmas. Well, matter of fact, it's just good anytime. All right, that's our eggnog. So I guess the last thing I got to say is, 
Hey, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Here on Moon Moonshine Wednesdays. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. That's good.